everyone. Today I'm going to be talking to you about the HTP RSG 250C spool gun and demonstrate it using the Miller Trailblazer. A lot of people buy our spool guns and we get many questions on how to weld aluminum with it. So I'm here today to show you how easy it is to do. The RSG 250 includes the control box and the spool gun. The control box plugs into the front of the engine drive and picks up 110 volt power that runs the gas solenoid valve in the 250C model, the contactor, and the wire feed motor for the spool gun. You have the gas preflow and the wire speed. Wire speed is always set at maximum because you adjust it from the spool gun. Here's the spool gun. It's available in 25 and 50 foot length. The knob to adjust the wire speed rate is conveniently located on the bottom of the handle. So let's get to welding. Here we have the layout of the Miller Trailblazer and right now we have the machine set to wire voltage sensing wire feed mode and then you can see that our voltage is set to 21.9 but it will vary in between 22 to 26 volts depending on the thickness of the aluminum that you are welding. And then we also have the machine set to electro positive and it is in DC mode as well. You do not need to be in AC mode in order to weld aluminum on an engine drive. Here you can see there's a lot of popping and crackling going on due to the voltage being set too low for the material thickness that we are welding. The travel speed on this weld is good, it's a little slow. You can see that on the resulting weld there is some undercut at the top. And the goal is to obtain a spray arc using the spool gun. In order to do so, you need enough heat to penetrate the oxide layer, but you have to move fast so you don't burn through the material itself, since aluminum is a heat conductor. Here you can tell there's less cracking and popping because we increase the voltage of the weld. However, the travel speed is too slow because the arc is chasing the upper edge of the top piece of metal for the lap joint. This is a solid aluminum weld in real time. It is not fast forwarded. In order to properly weld aluminum, it needs to be hot and you need to move fast. So we welded 8th inch 30-33 coupons and the wire was 035-40-43 aluminum wire. The engine drive was set at 24.5 volts and the wire feed adjustment was set at 70. Since 70 is an arbitrary number, we are going to measure the wire speed rate right now. I'm going to push the trigger for 10 seconds and we'll see how many inches come out of the gun. 54 inches of wire in 10 seconds. So inches per minute would be calculated to 324. Be sure to like and subscribe and follow us on Facebook and Instagram at USAWeld-HTPAmerica or DM us on Instagram with any additional questions. Thanks for watching.